guys. It is currently 5.22 a.m. It is Tuesday, February 15th, and today I'm gonna be showing you my everyday school morning routine. Before I even say anything, I just wanna say I do not wake up at 5 a.m. every single morning. I usually wake up at like 6 to 6.30, Sometimes I even push it a little further than that. I decided to wake up like around an hour earlier today just because I want to give myself more time to film and talk to you guys. This is going to be a lot different from any of my previous routine videos because as you guys know, I started going to like in-person school this year versus like online slash like homeschooling, which is what I had been doing before then. And so my routines back then when I didn't have like a time crunch and I could like work out, journal, you know, do productive stuff. That's not what this video is going to look like because I literally just get up and get ready and go to school. My routine is honestly so boring like in my opinion compared to like a lot of the other routines you probably like are used to seeing on YouTube and like maybe this is just like every other routine out there. I don't know. I haven't watched a lot of routine videos lately so I'm not trying to say that this is like quirky different but like compared to what I've done in the past it definitely is a lot more like straightforward just going to school getting ready for school <laughs> type of vibes. Also, if I'm not really acting like myself in this video or if I'm just acting strange, it's because it's 5 in the morning and I literally cannot keep my eyes open right now. Also, these glasses are not real. They're blue light. But I threw them on because I look like an actual potato in the morning. It's not even like no, it's just the, in the morning specifically is when I look like a potato. So I, I just kind of threw these on to help with that. I don't really think it's doing anything. But you, I just thought I'd disclaim that I did not get glasses. Okay, so after I get out of bed, I like to usually put on like some music or a podcast or just kind of something to be in the background. And then I put on my lights just to kind of set the mood. And then I put on a hoodie because it is actually freezing in my room in the morning. And I guess here I was having a dance party. I just, I have no idea what was going on or what was going through my brain. And then I go into the bathroom to brush my teeth, do my skincare, you know the vibes. I feel like my current Spotify is lacking. Like the playlists are not hitting as much as they used to so if you guys have any song recommendations let me know because i'm trying to like make like the perfect morning playlist and also like a lot of my playlists are public so you guys can listen to them too but i feel like they're just not hitting right now comment down below song suggestions dm me on instagram however you gotta do to get the song recommendations to me because i need them right now Thank you so much to Curology for sponsoring today's video. If you somehow haven't heard of Curology before, Curology is a custom skincare brand that works with real dermatology providers to create custom skincare for you. I've been using Curology for over a year now and it has actually changed the game for my skin. It has made me feel so much more confident and clean and put together. My skin actually used to be one of my biggest insecurities. I had a bunch of acne all over like my nose and forehead area, but especially my nose, like that was the main area that really just like affected me and that I was really insecure about. It got to a point where I was so insecure about my acne that I genuinely could not go out in public or look in a mirror without feeling insecure or unconfident. I just felt like everyone was staring at me at all times. I did not feel confident at all, which was so sad because looking back, it genuinely didn't even look that insanely bad, but I was just so insecure about it. Ever since using Curology, my skin has been so much more healthy and clean and clear. I'm not wearing any makeup. This is just my raw, natural skin. Okay, so I'm editing this video right now and I realized something I probably should have pointed out is that even even though I love Curology so much and they've helped my skin like tremendously, I do still sometimes get breakouts and acne and that's just because I'm a normal teenager with normal ho ho hormones and it's completely normal for your skin to fluctuate and like for you to still get pimples sometimes. I still really really love Curology and I have noticed such a huge difference in my skin since using them but every now and then I do get pimples, I do get you know breakouts um, because I'm a teenager with hormones so i just thought i'd point that out so how curology works is you can go into their website and take a fun little quiz where you basically just answer a bunch of questions about your current skin type and your current skin goals from there you will be matched with a dermatology provider who will make your custom formula and send it right to your front door so these are what your products will look like you just have three very simple but very effective products i love how there's only three steps because it makes your skincare routine so quick and easy and like you don't have to remember like 16 different steps and like the order of all your products it's very very simple it's basically you just use your cleanser and moisturizer my voice oh my goodness 
It's basically you just use your cleanser and moisturizer twice a day, morning and night, and then you use your super bottle once a day at night. And this is where this little bottle, this is where all the customization happens. It literally even has your name on it, as you can see, and then you can see the ingredients list. Curology also has a ton of little goodies that you can throw into your order if you like, such as body wash that helps with body acne, or my favorite, which is the pimple stickers. I use them all the time. If you click the link in my description, you can get your first month of Curology for free. All you have to do is pay $4.95 for shipping and handling. Thank you once again to Curology for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back into the normal content. After I cleanse my face and brush my teeth, I venture downstairs into the cold, dark kitchen and I grab myself an ice cube and rub it on my face, which I know sounds crazy. It's like, why would you do that? But there actually are benefits to doing it. I don't really know if this actually helps that much, but it definitely does like help me to feel more refreshed and just kind of wakes me up in the morning. Okay, so now that I've brushed my teeth, done my skincare, prepped my face a little bit, I'm feeling a little bit more awake and refreshed. It is time to actually like get ready for the day. So I'm gonna start off by doing my makeup and I'm gonna show you guys what my everyday school makeup routine looks like. And I'm not gonna go like super crazy, super in depth just because I do plan on doing like an actual makeup routine video where I show you guys like how I do my freckles, my lashes, everything. Uh, but I usually don't do like my full on makeup routine um, when I go to school just because it's not really worth it to like spend an hour getting ready just to like go to school and look musty within two hours of the day. I don't know what it is about school. I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like I could look so good going into school and I will come out of school looking like an actual... So I've realized that if you keep it a little more simple, keep it a little more natural, I mean, I always try to do more natural makeup, but you get the point when you just keep it more simple, it kind of just ends up looking better. And this routine that I've been doing doesn't get super musty by the end of the day. Like it still looks pretty good by the end of the day. Now it's time to get the hair out of the face and I'm gonna be using this headband. You guys probably saw it like a video or two ago. Something, I don't know why, I keep using this headband because it's kind of embarrassing. I don't know why I haven't like just gone ahead and bought an actual headband yet. We're gonna do the ears. We're just gonna embrace it. I'm probably gonna really hate that I did that like while editing this video. I'm not gonna wanna post this video because I'm wearing ears. Usually this is what I would do, so you know. Anyway, so the first thing that I do is concealer. Okay, once that is all blended out, I go ahead and do a tiny bit of nose contour because literally any bit of concealer takes away like any definition for my face. So I just go ahead and add a little bit of definition right on like my natural like nose bridge. Next, I go ahead and take some dark brown eyeshadow. You can use literally any dark brown eyeshadow. Basically, I do like a little bit of eyeliner, but I do it in brown eyeshadow and I make it kind of smudgy. And then I also go on the bottom, like right, not on my waterline because this is powder. So as you can see, it does make me look a little bit more tired, but I kind of like the almost like tired look. Like I'm already gonna be going to school all tired. I just kind of accentuate. So that's why I do this, but also I just kind of make some eyes pop. I kind of like the way it looks. Okay, next I take a tiny little bit of powder and I just kind of lightly set this in place. I don't do like the whole baking process. I just kind of put on a little bit of powder. Okay, next is blush and I have this really, really old blush and like eyeshadow palette that my mom gave to me a while ago. I'm pretty sure you can't even buy this like anywhere anymore. And I do have a couple other blushes, but for some reason I always come back to this one. Like just like the way it looks my face is like really natural but also I love the color of it so I'm gonna be really sad when this runs out because I can't buy this anymore next we have brows and I do soap brows I have this little like brow styler soap it's literally just like a little tin of soap I can't find my spoolie anywhere which means I can't do like the normal brows that I would do I did find this however it's like this little like thing um but we're just gonna use this real quick <laughs> Cause I don't feel like looking for my spoolie, but basically I take a little bit of setting spray and I take it, put it in some soap. 
kind of gonna have to leave them as they are for the most part. Then I just go in with a little tiny bit of brown mascara, specifically brown mascara because it doesn't do a ton for your eyelashes. It's not like lengthening or anything like that. It just kind of makes your eyes pop a tiny bit more, kind of like holds the curl in place. But I kind of just like doing this, like I already said. Okay, lastly, I just go in with a little bit of setting spray. I do a couple sprays of this. Okay, so this is the finished look. This is what I do for makeup for school. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. I'm in a tiny bit of a rush because I did kind of take way too long to do my makeup because I was talking to you guys and rambling and most of that is not even gonna make it in the video. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed. As you can see, I laid out my outfit last night. I always lay out my outfit the night before because I hate being rushed in the morning. And then on top of that, trying to figure out what to wear, it's just not the vibes. Okay, so this is the outfit for today. I have this white crew neck that actually has my school logo in it. Basically at my school, the top layer of your outfit has to have like the school logo in it. So obviously that's why I'm covering up the school logo. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a sticker just to like cover up the school logo because I do not need anybody on the internet finding out where I go to school. Most of you guys, I would 100% trust, but every now and then, there are some creeps. Okay, I think that's gonna work. You can still see like a little bit of the logo peeking out, but I don't think you'll be able to like, you can't see the name of my school, which is what matters. Back to the outfit. So I have this big white crew neck and then I'm wearing these pants from Hollister, which I love. They are actually a little bit big on me, but I kind of like the more, you know, baggy, relaxed fit. And then I'm wearing my Air Forces. And then I have these heart socks that I got from PacSun, but I think the brand is actually like Brandy Melville. You literally can't even see my socks like with the outfit, but for some reason I just like wearing these, even if you can't see them because they kind of just give me serotonin whenever I see them. And then my necklace is from En Route Jewelry with Fernanda Ramirez. I am obsessed with her collection. So yeah, that is the outfit. Something about this outfit I just really like. I don't know why. I just, I really like it. Anyway, so now I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and then it's usually time to go. I actually do have like 15 extra minutes today, which is amazing. So I might actually get to sit down and like enjoy my breakfast. I always eat my breakfast on the road because I usually wake up, I'll get ready, and then I don't have any time to spare. But today, since I woke up at 5 a.m., I actually have time to eat my breakfast. Like actually maybe inside, I don't know. This morning I woke up like really tired, obviously. And then as I was filming, filming gives me energy. So my energy was going up a lot and it's still kind of up, but I can feel it kind of starting to go down. I can really feel my energy to tear, to, to te deteriorating. Okay, so usually by this time in the morning, I am in a rush, so I run downstairs and I make myself a smoothie. I literally have a smoothie every single day, like no fail every single day. I like to switch up the types of fruit just to kind of like keep it interesting, but the basic recipe is just fruit, some sort of like milk slash liquid, some sort of juice slash mixer, and then some sort of collagen or protein powder. Okay, so I'm currently in my garage. I wanted to show you guys what I have for my lunch today in case anyone was like curious. Okay, so for my lunch today, I have some apples and peanut butter honey bars for a snack. I have an energy drink and then I have this like pasta that I made last night and it has tomatoes in it and it is so freaking amazing. It's literally just like basic pasta, no sauce, just like a little bit of like butter and salt. And then I like put some baby tomatoes in there and it is so freaking good. I'm kind of in a rush. So that's why I'm doing this. Amen. 